Hi guys, welcome back again to another episode of TDL in my kitchen and tomorrow morning Bill and I are going to be going to the beach and what is better at the beach than seafood, right? So today we're going to be making a shrimp cocktail Mexican style which is served cold that we are going to take to the beach tomorrow. It's going to be delicious. Stick around. This is probably about a pound of shrimp. I cut it in half because it's easier to put it on a cracker that instead of the whole piece. It kind of makes it last longer. Now that that's in there, we're going to put our Roma tomato. Quarter cup of red onion, finely chopped. There we go. I'm gonna start with the one habanero. I know I started with another jalapeno, but as soon as I smell this, this is pretty spicy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put one, just to make sure it's not gonna be too hot. You can always add, but you cannot take away. So. I wanna make sure the habanero is mixed in there. All of that is mixed in about three tablespoons of lime juice. You can always add more if you like it a little bit more sour. A dash of our hot sauce. Probably about a quarter cup of ketchup. Okay, quarter cup of ketchup. Half a cup of cocktail sauce. All right, let's mix that together. This dish is better if you stick it in the fridge and let it marinate. If you want it the same day, stick it in the fridge for about 30 minutes prior to serving, but it's much better if you let it sit overnight because all the flavors get soaked into the shrimp and vice versa. This is smelling good and we're just getting started. This sort of works for you. Little dash of garlic powder. You're gonna see how good this is. I was telling Bill this is one of my favorite recipes when I think of the ocean. That's because when I was growing up in the summer we would go and see my grandpa that lived really close to the beach and my grandma would always make a shrimp cocktail we would come back sunburned and hungry me and my sisters and my brothers and when we got back and grandma used to have a big old dish of this shrimp cocktail it was just so delicious and filling it was protein from the shrimp and vegetables but it's just I've always associated it with the ocean a dash of our chicken bouillon this is starting to smell good I was only gonna make one bag for tomorrow for our beach trip but once Bill found out I was making, he talked me into opening up the other bag of shrimp and make extra for tonight. Let's do a dash. 
I like this olive oil. It works really good and it's imported from Italy. Just a drizzle of your olive oil. Dash of Tabasco, of course. It's gonna be spicy. And some olives. All right, olives to taste. So just throw me and Bill like olives. So we're gonna put about four tablespoons of olives. Let's mix that in. Holy smokes, this smells delicious. You can use cilantro, which it's actually really good. It changes the taste, makes it more Mexican-y, I guess, if, if it's such a term. But the parsley for me just is not so overbearing and spicy since we're already putting a lot of spice into the cocktail. Parsley to me has a milder flavor than cilantro. I like this. I swear if you make this dish and try it, you'll be hooked. And it's really easy to make. You just have your vegetables here, your condiments. You don't even have to cook the shrimp, just thaw it and throw it in there and something you can use for lunch to take to the beach, for dinner, appetizer on date night. I mean, the possibilities are endless, right? Especially on date night. Especially on date night. I know there's somebody that you know that loves shrimp cocktail. Very important, of course. As any chef will tell you, you have to taste your food. Let's try this. Get some shrimp and some olives with some of the tomato. Oh, I'm coming over there. There. Is, it mm, super hot? is it super hot Mexican style? Mm hmm. There it goes. It's spicy. Nice. Very nice. I've got a bite to it. That's. I'm glad I didn't put that extra jalapeno in there. Yeah, I only put one habanero. I think it's good. I don't think it needs anything, do you? Nope. It needs to be in my mouth. All right, you guys, there's the verdict. That is all you need to do. After you mix it, that's what it's gonna look like. Now we are going to cut up our avocado since we're going to be tasting some of it tonight and I will show you what that looks like. trick you just saw it get your spoon stick it right under there release the pressure and then you can just crack it open or you can have your husband come and help you like he was about to do with me because he just sweet like that 
mustache of Worcestershire. I can say Worcestershire. Worcestershire. I love it. I love it. You show up at my house with shrimp cocktail like this, you and my good graces. I love it. I love it. Well, wireless would be so much better. You can't really see. I tried to buy a wireless one. You wouldn't let me. See my shirt. You want me to run the camera? Nope. I think That's why I have a... Oh, it's been recording this whole time. <laughs>